Hello everyone, welcome back to Radiology Med Easy, your all-time favorite YouTube channel. Let's see today's case. So, this is the image of today's case. First, go through it and come to your own diagnosis. Then, we will continue with the case discussion. Hi, welcome back everyone. This is case number 24 in RS series in radiology. So our case today is a 14 year old child presented with chronic cough and shortness of breath. So this is the frontal chest radiograph of the corresponding patient. So you can see a abnormality as reduction in volume in the right lung. Media sinus shift is seen towards the right side and the right tylum is shifted downwards due to volume loss and the major finding is there's a tubal or linear like opacity running from the right tylum downwards towards the right lower zone and it extends below the right hemidiaphragm and there's right side pleural effusion mild pleural effusion also there yeah the case also shifted to the right side thus compensatory hyper expansion of the left lung field uh, no cardiomegaly left hemidiaphragm control is normal no obvious uh, consolidations in the rest of the lung fields and uh, no obvious bone abnormalities so there's volume loss and this appearance of the curved tubular or linear opacity we call it uh, Turkish sword appearance or scimitar appearance so Turkish sword or scimitar appearance the diagnosis of this case is scimitar syndrome uh, differential diagnosis are right middle lobe collapse right middle lobe collapse and sick pulmonary sequestration those are differential diagnosis middle lobe collapse and pulmonary sequestration and uh, when you talk about Simita syndrome, there are several features in this syndrome. The hypoplastic lung, commonly right lower lobe, part of right lower lobe. And uh, there's a partial anomalous pulmonary venous drainage. This, the hypoplastic lung segment has a abnormal pulmonary venous drainage that veins when drains to the systemic circulation commonly IVC then right atrium or portal vein so it doesn't drain to the pulmonary system it drains to the systemic venous system and those are a few major abnormalities and these patients can get uh, recurrent chest infections in that hypoelastic lung segment so that concludes case number 24 in RS series in radiology. So please subscribe our YouTube channel then you will get notifications of our new videos. And in the meantime you can comment on our videos. Thank you everyone. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe for more videos like this.